Hello, hello, hello! We are live with today's stream, so I'm just going to share that on all of the social medias, and then we'll hop into the game. It is Thursday. It's been a couple of weeks since I lasted a Thursday stream. Just various life things, and I mean, even today is a very late one, so I also don't know how long it'll go. But we are live, at least for now, so... And I'm going to be continuing with Metroid Fusion since it is Thursday. And yeah. Um, so without further ado, let's just go and find the game. Oh, the demo. I'm like, wait, I have a Metal Gear game on here? I have a demo, Metal Gear Solid demo on here. Uh, Metroid. Metroid Fusion. Let's go. Uh, for this, I don't hold down anything, because Game Boy Advance, we don't get the cool Game Boy border like we do with Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. There we go. Taking a bit of uh, time there, I was getting a bit worried. Okay, so yeah. Oh, so we only did like an hour last. Did we really? Okay, stream time was two hours, so I don't know, maybe like menus don't, uh, menus or something don't actually count towards the game time. Okay. Now, where are we? What are we doing? The problem with, you know, it being a couple hours. Charge beam, more fall, high jump, speed booster. spots or is I think refill or refuel or something objective uh, so you your power resort proceed to the navigation room okay so that'd be N okay Okay, so that is from B boost. How do I? Sad. With uh, going a couple of weeks without playing, just trying to figure out what I can try to remember what 
I can and can't do. Also, how exactly the controls work. you're having a good Thursday. I definitely am. Um, pump control unit. Water level lowered. Oh, that's I think this is where I'm supposed to go then. Or at least we're making progress of some kind. Okay. Yeah, today was payday for me and uh... Uh, first paycheck of the year also means, because like, I'm a part-timer, we don't get, you know, the standard, like, two weeks holidays off, but we do still get paid for it, which just gets paid out one first paycheck of, um, first paycheck of the year. Well, it's separate paycheck by the same time, I'd say. So essentially I had two paychecks today. Very nice. But these things off my future purchase lists. And both of them, I got stuff off both the cheaper list for stuff under $100 and a couple stuff off my more expensive list. Uh, so a lot of this, a lot of stuff is stream related, so games and Lego sets and equipment related things. Like, why is that little thing there? That's why. Oh. Health. 
Why is that gold? I don't know, killed it anyway. Okay. Recharge room is what the R stands for. Saying refill earlier. Same basic idea, but yeah. Save room. Got a decent amount of collars. Okay, now what is our new goal? So Ceres had be had been infected by the X too. Well, as a result, we covered another ability. At this rate, you may be able to face SAX yet, but that's still a ways off. HQ has more support data. This time, it's Missile upgrade data. You de you desperately need this, but the data room here is sealed with a level four lock, the highest security level. Let's avoid opening sensitive areas unless it's necessary. So the route to the data room in sector two is blocked by some more SAX activity. I note the deliberate activity pattern. So if it is blocking your recovery intentionally. It kind of looks like your best option for this download is in Sector 3, PYR. You'll find the PYR data room on your map after using a navigation room there. Is your objective clear? Yes. I have for Sector 3. I don't know how to go to Sector 3. Okay. So we'll go to Sector 3 and see what we can see, do what we can do. Thankfully, the X have not invaded this area yet. The data room here is sealed by another security hatch. For download, you must find the security room here. Activate level 2 hatches. We may allow the SAX and X parasites into the area, but we are left with no choice. Recovery is our main goal. The data room is here. As I explained, security rooms can't be shown on the map. Be careful, Samus. You will see very violent organisms here. Avoid the ultra heated areas, yep. Your suit can't take such high temperatures yet, but we're working on it. Hatches are green. Release the lock and proceed to the data room for download. Super missile data is ready. Firepower will triple. Is your objective clear? Yes. First activate green hatches, then go to the data room. There are no ultra heated areas on this route, so turn back if you enter one. That's actually yeah, handy to know. If I go to an ultra heated area, that means I've Taking a wrong turn. Uh, I mean, we should still be full, yeah. We didn't really do anything on the way here. Right, just making sure I remembered how to use missiles. Can't wait 
get up there. That's an ultra heated area, so that's... Here we go. This also an ultra heated area? No. Where? What is... Aha. That means I need speed. Can I get speed? Can I go through these? Oh, I can. Okay, green is the ones that, yeah, that's the one I need to unlock, so we'll presumably be able to go through here after I've, um, areas are blocked off to me yet. Oh, that purple stuff is just background. I thought that was... locked that's interesting so I have to go oh wait that's also locked
Here we go. Yeah, this is where I came in. That section. Yeah. But if I keep going up, that's still locked. Security room found it. That's right, the security room wasn't well on the map. I need to get an idea here before I go to the thing where my goal is. Green Hatch is now active. Okay. And that means that, yeah, they can now get in here. Some looking uh, creatures there.
Okay, so we can't go this way, but we did find that other path, so... We know what we need to do. Take enough of it out, I guess. Oh, actually, wait. Then I should make sure to start further to the left so that I start, yeah, running sooner. Here we go. See what's through. Nope. Anything good in here?
I'm not very good at the whole wall jumping thing. Data room. Yay, let's go. Super missile downloaded. Hold R and press B. I gotta save. And recharge. Try it again without the dying. At least, yeah, we know what we'll do do now. It's it's nice though the fact that the game lets you go. It doesn't have the boss show up immediately, and you go over there and save and you know refill first.
needs a stronger kind of bomb. Something I don't think I can get right now. Now to do the boss fight again. Should have gone saved again after. Assuming I could. They get blocked off for me, okay, so I have to. Unless I was just waiting for that cutscene to end. Okay, I was, never mind. Guessing this is still. Yeah, it's still blocked off. At least I can go save and recharge before continuing onward. Um, let's recharge first, just so that. If I get game over again, I don't have to recharge again right after loading. Okay. drop down here with like nothing in the way of help. Let's just check if there's anything of interest. Doesn't look like it. 
Nothing suspicious to me. room to see what uh get a new objective okay open oh, energy fully restored save data that you encountered a rogue security robot. You may destroy it if you meet it again. Your safety is vital, but as to your brief, both your security locks are released. So sectors five and six are open. These se sectors have most likely been infiltrated by X. Much harder stop than we initially suspected. Sector five is sub-zero. You're still susceptible to cold from the vaccine side effects, so you'll take damage if you even set foot inside there. Oh, yeah. Avoid sector 5 for now, but in the meantime, HQ is working on data to adjust your suit for extreme temperatures. So you have the transmission, you can download it, but that's destroyed the data rooms you have used so far. No longer doubt their capacity for critical thought. You'll have to use the data room in the night habitat. Sector 6, nocturnal. Sector 6 and access navigation room there. Okay. Temperature's clear? Yes. Try lightly, Samus. You're the only one who can do this. The X may be much more dangerous than we know. Okay. I actually like that the order we do the, um, sectors in isn't actually in numerical order. Does Samus suspect anything? No. I do not think so. Good. Monitor her closely. Affirmative. Out. Well, that's ominous. Hey, Chuckle Viewer. Yes, it is my first time playing this. I mean, okay. Once years ago, I played it for like maybe 10 minutes or something. <laughs> but I'm already, you know, much further than I got in, you know, that 10 minutes. But I like the fact that it, we don't actually necessarily go through the these sectors in numerical order because it makes it seem more realistic. Because like, yeah, these are the sectors because it's, it's not sectors like as in like gameplay sectors, it's sectors like for the space station or base or whatever it is. Uh, let's get the space station right. Yeah, we're going to six. Okay. Sector six. Let me see. Are you going to finish it once? No, this is already my second stream of it. <laughs> so, it's already impossible for me to finish it in one stream. But I also doubt I'm going to finish it today. I have no idea how long it is, though, so I can't say for certain, but... Various suit data is here from HQ, ready to download. Okay, moving to a data room. But there's a problem. X from the Sub-Zero section arc are in Sector 6, NOC. And they... they've been changed by the cold. If you absorb one, they'll be frozen from within. Almost halfway? Okay. Uh, if I'm almost halfway, then probably not today. <laughs> it's unlikely that'll get there today, but maybe next time. Uh, this seems like a deliberate tactic. Once you download the Varia suit notification, you'll be out of danger. Just be extremely careful until then. 
Let's we'll see, Dad Room is here, and we'll avoid the blue X. Okay. Is your beam just done them in order to get by? Back clear? Yes. Careful, they are hunting you actively now, Samus. This area is very dark. Proceed with extreme caution. Aren't I always. I'm not always cautious. I can't even finish asking that question in jest. <laughs> Save complete. Fully restored. Okay. Firstly, yes. side most likely there does look like there's a little path yet through here we go hey missile tank acquired missile capacity increased yay that's um Oh, that's blue. That's what we do not want to get. Let's just leave this room for now. I should just go where I need to go. Don't do unnecessary exploration until we have the Varia suit and I'm safer from harm. It's like my instinct is of course always to explore. Ah crap. Instinct is not always a good instinct. Get on the map. Here. How about, uh, go on a location for an E tank? Sure, go right ahead. fine with stuff like E-Tank or missile upgrades or whatnot being pointed out to me. No, don't. Don't get distracted, Eric. Nope, that was... See, there again, my, uh... The wall across from the missile tank. Oh, I didn't go into it. Okay, I will 
do that when I'm next in the area. <laughs> Either after another game over or when I head back there. Uh, my current uh, assumption is it'll be after another game over, but... No, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to go like that. Oh, that's... Yep, another game over. Okay, so we need to run through there, so then when I get into that room again, just run. from the missile tank. So does that mean like over here? Don't I need some? That's what that means. Don't I need a something else to go through there? Right after it killed the. A... Oh, right after it killed the monster with missiles. That's what you mean by the opposite. <laughs> it's like. Either here or here. Here, here we go. There we go. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> Ball on the very top, yes. See, once I know something like that, it's just like, you know, a matter of, okay, I know I have to bomb something, so I just keep bombing stuff until I find it. I need to go to progress, but I'm certainly not, uh, <laughs> that's certainly where I needed to go eventually. Well, I'm not needed to, but it's not an optional thing, but certainly not bad to get. And save. Save data, yes please. Wait. Okay. First, let me just check if there's any. I don't know if, there, I don't know if save rooms can even have things you can bomb. Actually, wait, no. Or did I get something? For, I can't remember. Okay, now, is there somewhere in here that I can go down? There's only two, can I? Okay. Somewhere in here that I can go down. Or somewhere in here that I can go down. Yes, in here. There we go. So I actually did need to go here. Just didn't realize it. 
This is not at all. Oh no. Closer to where I need to go. Clean to the wall saved my life, really. <laughs> good to know, good to know. Recovered. Survive extreme temperatures. Yay! Excellent. Um. Now do I want to continue on this way, or go back from once I came? Get up here. Oh, 
save. Excellent. Save complaint. By far the worst suit color. <laughs> Definitely does. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird look, but it is what it is. Um, let's go check this out first. down there. Oh. oh, definitely something of interest at the very least, this. Oh, hey, wait. Come back. Okay, let's try that again. Without the falling down. Hey, I think. I want to go up there yet as well. I just need to grab on as I'm falling down. tank. Anything else over here? Doesn't seem like it. to get back up. Oh, this is just... Well, actually, you know, I might as well save. <laughs> no harm in saving. And in fact, plenty of harm in not saving. <laughs> Save often, save always, because you never know. Especially in a game like this where, you know, dying reverts you to your previous save. It's good to save whenever you get the option. And as much as, like, I know a lot of people will complain about, like, in, um, Things like this, how you can only save at certain locations that I'd be able to save everywhere. But the fact is, to a certain extent, having specific save locations is good to remind you to save, I find. Because, like, how many times when I'm playing Breath of the Wild do I all of a sudden, like, die and then I'm like, oh no, when did I last save? Or when did I last auto save? And, you know. Sometimes, sometimes it wasn't too long ago. 
But other times... It's like, oh, I have to redo a bunch of stuff. on my way back up. Oh, oh, there's gotta be something over here. Ah, somewhere that... Go yet? That's right here. This is where I'd oh. I realize there was someone still alive there, hiding behind the Foreground. Aha, missile tank. Well, what the? <laughs> okay, that one actually is a missile tank. <laughs> that surprised me. Going to grab a missile tank, also it grows bat wings and it attacks me. Not expecting that. that I've probably missed. I think we're done in this area. And we need to explore... The only explore stuff is the top area of that boss room. And any, like, secret rooms that aren't on the map. I mean, theor theoretically. Boss you mean? I figured. It just bugs me that it's not, you know, colored in in the map. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, what's going on next? Uh, how did that X download the Varia suit da data? This doesn't seem to make any sense at all, unless the X, unless the X have the ability to process data organically. That's a terrifying thought. At any rate. You have the various data. Now you'll be protected from extreme temperatures. More importantly, the SAX will no longer be able to freeze you so you can escape easily, easier. If you're still too weak, that thing is too much for you. Currently, I have no way of damaging it, but my simulations indicate that a penetrating weapon like plasma beam might work. Development modification data will take HQ some time, though. There's also a chance you may 
be able to restore your plasma beam by absorbing a large core X as you did with the charge beam function. As for restoring ice beam functionality, I doubt it. Your cellular makeup would reject that addition. Your HQ has developed an ice missile upgrade. So will add a freezing effect to your missiles. It will help. Go to sector 5 ARC for the download. Well, ARC is probably short for Arctic, right? Because it's pretty cold there. Is your objective clear? Yes. Because, like, NOC is obviously for Nocturnal. Um, I don't know what the other ones were. Oh, a PYR for Pyro, I guess. download data for the ice missile upgrade, but as you might expect, that room here is secured. Level 3 security hatches are yellow. Release the security lock and download data as usual. Experiment with those new missiles. They will be helpful. Objective clear? Yes. Know what to do? Go to it. Should be full on everything, because we just use a recharge. Yeah, but... That's just be sure, because my memory sometimes, like, weird. Okay, so these, yeah, are the closed ones. Okay, so then... First, let's check along the bottom, since we're at the bottom anyway. I'm missing something obvious. Or is there something from one of these rooms? I can't imagine there's something in here. It's not really like. Not 
obvious, it's pretty hard to find. Okay. Well, that at least makes me feel better. I have a lot of rooms to work with because like we have navigation room, save room, the uh, recharge room, and then that one other room. But yeah, secure, level 3 security hatches, release security lock, allied to Ada as usual. Uh, experiment with those new missiles, they will be helpful. Have some fun with it, yep. That's not even what we're going to unlock. We're trying to unlock yellow at the moment. Which there's yellow. So that's our target, so we still need to first unlock. Find where to unlock them. Okay. Yeah. 
doesn't even work on that. Okay. That's okay. Next thing, try go through here. Ah, need to run. Hey, not probably yet. Welcome in. How's it going? How are you doing? Nice, nice. How's that going for you? Which, how much more are you playing? Oh, something I might play on stream at some point. I have Call of Duty Classic on my PS3, oh, which is a uh, which is version of the very first one. It's good. Going good. I have to make sure the children know that you exist and they're going to lose. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I need to run that. Modern Warfare and CDL Mosh Pit. Your casual stomper. Call of Duty Classic is just the first. Yeah, I know Call of Duty Classic is just the first one, yeah. I guess I have that on PS3, and I have. I think Black Ops 2 on the Wii U. So I may eventually work my way through that series, but there's so many games for me to work my way through. So many games, so little time.
trying to do here. I have not played Destiny, no. I need speed. Get through there. But I don't get enough. Get enough speed. Mm. Lockup Studio on the Wii U is about the same as Xbox 360 and PS3 versions, but it lacks the DLC. Here we go. Here's somewhere I can go. Save room. Played Destiny 2 or 4, but not that much. Okay, so here we're finding somewhere I can go now. New stuff. What is with these things? They seem like they should be able to destroy. Good, the end is near for the light and dark side. Also, I'll get comes. Will I fold? Comes up next month. Nice. Gotta stop. I, I knew that was gonna happen. Story, but on the expansions. Oh, yeah. It's ready to take it out to put new content in. I don't like when games do that. Do other Metroid games as well? I've previously uh, played and beaten the original Metroid and Super Metroid on stream. I've beaten Metroid 2, but that was off stream. Um, but after I beat this one, I'll be moving on to Metroid Prime, and then Metroid uh, Zero Mission, 
And then after that we'll see, because the next is Metroid Prime 2, which I do not yet own, but I will... I plan to go through all of them eventually. But, yeah. Okay, so that is my ice missiles. But yeah. Yeah, so after this so this will be my my Thursday game until I beat it. Then um Metroid Prime until I beat it, then Metroid Zero mission until I beat it. If I have Metroid Prime 2 by then, it'll be Metroid Prime 2 until I beat it, but we'll see. Metroid Prime Pinball, Metroid Prime Hunters, oh. Uh, Metroid Prime 3, Metroid Other M, Metroid Prime Federation Force, Metroid Samus Returns, I think, and then um, Primus Cannon, yeah. And then Prime Pinball isn't, but Prime is. Then um, Metroid Dread, don't know if I missed any in there. Dread, yeah. Yeah, playing through them all in release order is the plan. Oh, okay. But, like I said, because I don't own all of them yet, so for some reason I'll have to buy them first. Okay, I can't go the... Actually, wait, can I... Freeze it? Uh, no, because chronological order would be Metroid or Metroid Zero Mission. Then the Prime games then Metroid 2 or Samus Returns, then Super Metroid, Metroid Fusion. Oh wait, where's the other M go? Because I know Dread is after this, but I can't remember where other M goes. I think there's that between Super Metroid and Metroid Fusion. That's what I thought. And weirdly, Other M is one of the ones that I do already own. <laughs> because of years ago... Uh, a buddy of mine worked at an electronics store, and also he texted me one day, Hey, we're getting rid of, like, all of our... Um, all of our stock of Wii games. Would you be... And he's like, oh yeah, we're selling... Um... Oh, I know what I need to do here now. Um, I need you. No, but I need you to be go up like the other ones. Why is we need to get an X to go? S A X to go into you, or an X to go into you. I just... Go into this thing. No, not me. I want to do you to go into that thing. Mm, Microsoft had interview with a 10-year commitment to bring Call of Duty to Nintendo. Interesting. Oh, that's going to be the best version of the games. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, 
Anyways, what am I selling this? Oh, there we go. There we go. Selling stories, yeah. Wait, LGA, yeah, they're getting rid of all their, like, Wii games and they're selling other M for, like, um, what was it, like, five bucks? I'm like, yeah, I'll, I, I'll, I'll buy other M for five bucks. I'll play it eventually. One second, I got a text here that I'm very confused by. I'll worry about looking into that later. It's probably related to one of the things I bought online today, although why I'm getting text a text about delivery stuff rather than email, I don't know. So you get to the big room with all the ladders. Uh, if you have your headphones volume up, you may want to turn it down a bit. I'll be fine. My headphones, well, one of the headphones doesn't even work, or like, uh, this one isn't even very loud at this point because I, I need to replace them. <laughs> Even the, this one isn't the best, but it's decent. Uh, let's go through here and save again. Just cause of... Oh wait. I don't feel like figuring out. We get through again. We'll just go here. We can probably go through here now. I'm guessing ice missiles are going to work on this thing. No. Never mind. So I can't go through here. Can't go yet because they're the red rooms are or the red doors are still locked. Notice future consoles compared to level comparable to like the PS5 and Xbox Series X. See Call of Duty beyond there, but as of right now, you ain't getting Call of Duty on Switch. Mm. I mean, in part it depends on, um, what, depends on a lot of factors, really. Like, basically, like, why, uh, like, on how much work you want to put into it, I should say. Depends on how much work you want to put into it, because, like, Obviously, you can, you know, put more work and just, like, do basically, you know, separate versions and such. Um, that's the same basic gameplay, just, you know, um, lesser graphics or whatever. I mean, depending, if it's just graphics, you can, you can just, um, there are definitely ways of dealing with it.
Emergency in sector three. Emergency in sector three. Emergency in sector three. Emergency in sector three. Uh, people can send all watch. Uh, two don't switch, so I can again like Call of Wars don't have a watch two for you for from actual watch players. Respond to desirables for going to same for COD. Emerging sector three, the area could melt down soon. Seems the main boiler's cooling unit is malfunctioning. Um, could easily destroy the entire research. We would likely trigger the auto-destruct explosives in well, about six minutes. Just actually the access the control room to the side of the main boiler room. This is going down because of this. Can we know who to blame? Yes, it. X must have hacked. This is a control file on impressive intelligence. Special theory, yes. It's full time. Hurry to the control room in sector three. Okay, um... I just noticed the time is 9 o'clock. Hey, Lynx. Welcome in. <laughs> so, sorry to say this right as you're coming in, but I just noticed it's 9 o'clock, so I should probably end stream here. Um, can't save. Okay, well, we did save right before coming in here. So, we are just going to end here. Um, right, I, I, did, I did save, right, because I went through the save room. I'm 90% sure I did. I'm gonna look at my VOD just so I can... I did? Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we are gonna end here. And I'll pick up ne with this uh, next Thursday. Um, and thank you for the follow, uh, Chicola viewer. Very much appreciated. Um... But yeah, because I am working at uh, 4 a.m. tomorrow, and it is 9 p.m. right now. Um, we're going to go raid somebody, so if y'all want to stick around for that. <laughs> yes, Lynx, I have made poor choices. But I, I keep canceling Thursday streams. I didn't want to do that again, because I wanted to play more Metroid Fusion. <laughs> Um, who do we want to raid? Uh, who's live? Okay, so we could have somebody playing God of War, the original one from 2005. Um, could raid somebody playing. Ooh, Hades. Uh, could raid somebody playing Tales of Symphonia. Probably gonna be one of those people. I'll keep looking through my following list, but I think it's gonna be one of those people. Let me know in chat if you have a preference for any of those games I just mentioned. Otherwise, I'll decide myself who we're gonna go and raid. And yeah. Um,. I'll hopefully be streaming again tomorrow. Um, so for weekday streams, my normal thing is if I start on time at 3 p.m., which I haven't been recently, I start with Animal Crossing and then do something else after. But if I start late, which has been the case for a while now, it's just I just skip past the Animal Crossing. So the other game for tomorrow is Earthbound Beginnings. Hopefully continuing with that. I know it's been a couple while since we went down a Friday stream as well, but we'll see how it goes. I don't stream on Saturdays. Generally, Sunday, if I can get up early enough, I'll do an Animal Crossing stream starting at 7 a.m., but that probably won't happen. Uh, and then Monday, back to the weekday schedule, where, um, what's my current Monday game? Um, starting Kirby Superstar. Tuesday, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Wednesday, Star Wars Nice Old Republic. Nice Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And Thursday, more of this Metroid Fusion. Uh, yeah, let's schedule for next week. Hey, games idea maker, sorry.
come in right at the end. Uh, either was planned for you, Lynx. Or at least start for you is going to be 8 a.m. Yeah. Um, okay, so since nobody has a preference as to who we go and raid, I think, I think, I think we are going to go and raid one of my wonderful plant army teammates, Sprinkle Saurus, who's playing Hades. Uh, it's been a while since we've been over there. So, but it's always a good time there, always a good fun stream. So let me just, uh, if y'all want to join in the raid, you can copy and paste the raid method to join the raid. Yeah, sorry games idea maker. But I started late and then I, you know, have to work early tomorrow, so. Yeah, but yeah, um, but yeah, thanks everyone for coming out today. Those who chatted, those who just lurked, those who followed, you're all wonderful people. Thank you for hanging out. It's been a blast, and I will see you all later. Let me just make sure I've copied the raid message, and bye.